In today's video, I'm going to cover five things that all new players should know about Bloxburg. I'll cover things like where to get your Bloxburg news from, some of my favorite features, my most recommended game passes, and just generally how to play. And be sure to stick around to the end of the video for an extra tip. This is Bloxburg's official and really main social media account. It's run by Lil Mari and Bram P, both of whom are the community managers for the game. Lil Mari is somewhat of a new addition to the Bloxburg team, but Bram has been here as a tester for years, even before Bloxburg was purchased by Coffee Stain Studios, like over a year ago. But anytime you see this account doing advertisements whether it's here on twitter or on like tiktok or youtube for example those are the two people that are making those advertisements but if you have any questions about blocksburg or like concerns that you want to voice this is probably the best place to do it on their twitter just like in the replies or something but if you don't have twitter they do list their other main social media accounts in their pinned tweet here there's twitter tiktok and youtube when you join Bloxburg, you'll see three different buttons. You'll see play, neighborhoods, and store. Neighborhoods is a feature that they added like just what, a couple of years ago? And pretty much it's just like private servers, but within the game of Bloxburg. Sadly, neighborhoods do cost Robux, but I think that it's very much worth it. It's 149 for one month, 399 for three months, 699 for six months, and then 1099 for one year. So you can spend money for a neighborhood or you can join my neighborhood at Cider underscore TV. It's completely free. If you want to join someone's neighborhood, all you have to do is copy their username, which is the same thing as their server ID, click join new neighborhood, and then just type it here. And if you click enter, it'll just bring you to their server. If you do decide to purchase a neighborhood, however, you can change the name of it. You can change the weather, the time, the ground color. You can also decide who gets to join, how many players can join, and then you can block and kick people from the neighborhood as well. One cool feature about neighborhoods, which isn't really listed anywhere, is that you get access to free cam, which is pretty much what I'm filming this video with. I can pretty much fly around the map and move my camera to wherever angle I want. So if you're a content creator, having a neighborhood is definitely pretty helpful. Blogsburg has tons of different game passes to offer, so I'm going to show you which ones I think are the most worth. Firstly, I'll start with the subscriptions up here, and I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, just don't buy these. They're not worth it, and you can make money much easier in the game. They did make an update recently that makes it harder to make money, but but even then, this is just a waste of your money. Please don't buy it. The first game pass they have listed here is Excellent Employee, and pretty much this gives you an extra pay boost, so it makes it much faster or easier to make money, and then it also levels you up at your job faster, so you get more like rewards and content within the game. I definitely recommend getting this as like one of your first three game passes. It's pretty important. The next one is the Premium Game Pass. This one halves your bills. It doubles your daily rewards, gives you a special name tag, increases your donation limit, and gives you the ability to choose your plot. I also really like this game pass. I'd probably put this in the top three as well. The multiple floors game pass is pretty self-explanatory. It just lets you build multiple floors. If that's something you want to do, then go ahead and buy it. If not, then well, don't. Advanced placing is pretty helpful in Bloxburg. I definitely recommend this. That'd probably be the other third one that I would recommend you get out of the, all the game passes. So advanced placing, pretty much it just lets you be more detailed and like precise with where you place things on your plot. I don't know why this is a game pass. Honestly, I feel like this should just be a feature in the game, but it is. So I would probably buy that. The basement's game pass is pretty simple. It just lets you have another floor, but like below your plot, it's only a hundred Robux. So I'd probably recommend getting that, but it's pretty self-explanatory. The marvelous mood game pass makes your moods go down slower. And then it also takes away the effects from showing on your body. For example, when you get like smelly or whatever on Bloxburg, it shows, it gives you like a stink cloud around your body. But if you have this game pass, it won't do that. So that's pretty helpful for like content creators and stuff, I would say. And then transform plus, this is like a more recent thing. If you're a detailed builder, this is definitely a good one, but it's kind of confusing to use a little bit. So I don't know. One of the most important features of Bloxburg is the building feature. I'm not going to give you a whole building tutorial, but I'll pretty much just show you the basics of how to use it. On the bottom left is the build, decorate, and inventory tab. The build tab is pretty much for exteriors. It's got the walls, the vehicles, the paths, floors, roofs, all that stuff. The decorate tab is for interiors, it's got beds, all the stuff you put in your closet or like clutter items around the house. That's what that is. And then the inventory stuff is just like seasonal items or things like trophies that you earn, but aren't really like placeable just in build mode. On the bottom right, you have the three most important tools in build mode. You have the delete tool, so you can just click something and then it will delete it. You have the copy tool. So if you want to copy this wall or like place another wall, you can just click that and it'll make another one. And then you'll have the paint tool, which will just let you color uh, an item like, well, whatever color you want. On the right of the screen are all the other tools that you may need for building. If you want to bulldoze your plot, you have this button. If you want to change the time of day while you're in build mode, it won't do it like for the rest of the server, but just for you, then you can click this button. This is the transform tool button, but most of you probably aren't going to have this unless you buy the transform tool game pass. Then you have the scale tool, which pretty much just lets you make things bigger or smaller. And you have to have the advanced placement game pass to use. You can toggle your roof on and off by clicking this. And then you can also allow things to be like collided with each other. So if I want to put this through the wall, you can't do that. 
if this is not like toggled on. The arrows directly above that will let you go up or down on your plot level. And then this is the grid. If you wanna be super detailed with your building, you can make the grid bigger or smaller. Lastly, the arrows on top pretty much let you go back and forth if you wanna like delete something or you made a mistake. Listen up, cause this may be really helpful for you in terms of saving money. So let's say I place this wall. It costs $8 to place down, but you lose 30% of the money when you delete it. So it's only gonna be five when I delete it. But if I instead just click backspace, it'll give me back 100% of the money so all eight dollars i'll get back on a much larger scale this could save you hundreds of thousands of dollars now the blocksburg job system was completely overhauled recently so all the jobs make pretty much around the same amount of money now so there's not really a best job but i'll pretty much explain how it works if you click the work tab down here on the bottom right you'll be able to see your shift earnings that's how much you've made that shift shift duration how long you've been working and then your total work experience progress this means all of your work experience across all blocks per jobs that level will be shown here and then your progress for that individual job is shown right below that for example this fast food worker job i'm at level 33 but the main trick is that as long as your efficiency level is at 100 meaning that you're continuously working the entire shift you'll make around the same amount of money as everyone else doing whatever job to see your level for any particular job you just click the work tab and then over here let's say i look at the fast food worker job you'll see all my levels for this at each level you'll level up and get some money or maybe you'll get an item that you can actually place on your plot now here's one tip that a lot of people fail to take advantage of that i think you should when you first join blocksburg you'll be met with this house here and a lot of people just immediately delete this house because it's ugly and i'll admit that but it can be very helpful when you're first starting the game we'll go through the pictures here obviously the house doesn't look the best but it does have a mood station for example you can get all your moods up and then you'll be able to get more money at jobs and whatnot when you have this mood station you also won't be walking around homeless and you'll actually have a place to live or like role play in for example when you first start the game so definitely don't delete that that's just my one tip that a lot of people fail to realize when they first start Bloxburg. on top of that your first Bloxburg house is always a little bit nostalgic so i would definitely not delete it for that now i do content like this all the time and I plan to start doing live streams on my channel pretty soon. So if you're interested in that or other blocks for content like this, please be sure to subscribe. But that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, please be sure to like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And with that, I will see you all in the next one.